good morning, good morning, good morning, my YouTube people. Happy Sunday. No, I didn't go to church today. I didn't go to church today. Um, I woke up this morning. It's rainy out here. Uh, well, it's sprinkling on Sunday morning. And the reason I didn't go to church today is because um, I started writing this book. Um, little a children's book. And I am using the software, and I'm everybody heard about uh, AI, how AI could help you do this, and AI could help create creators like myself um, create things in a faster way, you know, more um, proficient. You know, when you run out of ideas, you kind of like ask, you know, these soft, different softwares. You know, throw in your question and then they could like help you give you some ideas, right? Um, so I said, I was talking to my granddaughter who, um, when she was younger, we used to always make up stories, you know, have these little storylines going, excuse me. And um, so I told her one day, we're going to write a book. So, you know, I called her to get some ideas to go on the book. And she's going to be one of the main characters in the book. Her name is Amani. And um, so I thought that was going to be so much fun. And so I started yesterday, which was Saturday. So a day ago to get like my outline together for the, the children's book. And it's going to be for the ages of five to seven. You know, it's going to be self-published. I'm sorry. I should spit this candy out. I'm so rude talking to you guys. This stuff in my mouth. Excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, so that's why I didn't go to church today. Sometimes I want to change it up a little bit, but um, it feels good to... Um, I love creating, working on projects. It could be a little... Uh, anxious because it's like when you do something new I love learning new things um and so I got like a list of projects that I'm, I'm, I want to work on so I had to like pick which one would be more priority right so I figured in the low-hanging fruit easier to do so I, I said the children's book is easier to do um, the goal is to make a little money from it. God, Jesus, I lift that up to you. Nothing is little to God. And what's impossible to man is impossible to man. It's possible for God. So let me take the word little out of there. Make a lot of money from it. Because <laughs> everything belongs to my God. And he gives, you know, us what we need if we ask. And it lines up with his will. Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. So the um the storyline is this African American little girl who has this magical powers, but her powers is activated through art, drawing, painting, singing, dancing, right? And she uses her powers for good. She has a love for unicorns, a love for art, and a love for ice cream, right? And so what she does is she encourages and inspire and motivate other little um, Black girls who are feeling like they're unworthy because you know how this country um the world how this you know how they make us feel like we are less than an about and they devalue us we're not valued like we should be um because of the color of our skin right that is not a negative it is reality and it's a fact but the thing is is that we don't let it define us and this little girl has wonderful mentors um, that lets her know that even though the, there are certain people in this world that look at you a certain way in a negative way uh, with negative lenses because of the way you, they 
because they don't like the way you look, you don't have to do that. You hang on to your value. You hang on to, you know, what's great about you. So she said, oh, when she loves, every time she goes shopping with her mom, she sees these canvases, she sees these paints, she sees these crayons, and she wants to create art, right? So that's the gist of the book, right? So I'm learning as I go. I am doing the, um, I'm writing the book, and I'm also creating the illustrations, you know, of the images of the book. And I want it to be colorful and magical and positive for other little, cute little, magical black girls out there now and saying that this is not taken away from anybody else but this is to build up our little girls because this world don't see them as beautiful right a lot of people in this world don't so i want to put out messages out there that will have them see themselves as beautiful so here i sit in the cvs parking lot because i just when i woke up this morning i went to starbucks i did a little bit of work of creek working on the images um and then i went to go eat breakfast um i want to share this with you guys i am so trying to i know i'm all over the i'm always all over the place with my conversation but I, i'm working on my gut health can you guys see that i don't know if you could see that but let me show you it is called health aid kombucha um and it's for the your gut healing of your gut um i did not know that that your gut if it's not healed it get and it, if it's you have like so much bacteria in your gut um it could cause inflammation and all kind of illnesses so i am learning on getting information and reading about and listening to, to people who are um, holistic um in the holistic world reading about and learning about different herbs that can help heal your body um and also how it was like an anti-aging have a good gut you know um keeping you young and all this let me tell you this i seen this picture of this woman who's 70 years old this woman looks like she's 35 she does you know she works out you have to take care of your temple definitely have to take care of your temple she works out this woman had a six pack. Okay, okay. So, uh, hello. <laughs> I'm hitting the gym. I am hitting the gym, doing them sit ups, doing them sit ups, child. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So that is what I'm doing, and I'm going to after I'm going to CVS. I gotta get some nail polish. I'm gonna do my nails. I do my own nails to save money. So I want to be and work on being healthy across the board, uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. It takes work. You know, it's not going to, it's not like Lucky Charms. It's magically delicious. <laughs> it's not going to magically happen. You know, so I got to be, um, oh, what's that word I'm looking for? Intentional. I have to be intentional about how I treat myself. I talk to myself how I love on myself and that way it will be reflecting back to other people you know um, forgiveness grace love and all that good stuff but um I I want to share something with you guys I am ready to retire I am so ready to retire I've been on my job for 15 years and, um, excuse me, guys, oh, I have my shades on, even though it's rainy and look at this, <laughs> it's sprinkling, look at the window. Yeah, it's sprinkling out here. It's off and on, right? It's off and on. And, um, I have my shades because my eyes like puffy and stuff. I couldn't, I had a little trouble sleeping last night. Um, I had the weirdest dream. Um, I had a dream that. I was sleeping in my van and I had a dream that I had a dream that my van was moving. But in my dream, it was real. Somebody had gotten to my van. They were driving off. Right. And I was trying to get away. Weird dream. Weird dream. I digress. Let me get back. <laughs> but the point is, um, or the night, 
I don't have a point. I'm not making a point. But so my day is to get some work done. Um, I got the outline for the children's book. I'm excited about this. I'm going to give it to her. I wonder, this is what I wanted to do. Oh, I, want, I don't want to get too long with this video. Once I finish the book, I want to do a book signing for her. Put a, together a book party. You know, have kids who want, to, they could come sign the book, things of that nature. Um, wouldn't that be exciting? I'm just going to, it's going to be self-published. Um, and I'm going to put it on, on Amazon, you know, and I'm going to also turn it into an audio book and things like that. It's, it's just fun. It's just enjoying it and fun and not stressing about, oh, I got to make money from this. Oh, oh I got to make money from it because the rent is due. I don't think anything good comes from fear or stressing or anxiety. So everything has to be done. You know, do it in fun, do it in love, make light, do it light, have, you know, don't stress. So that's where I'm not stressing. I am enjoying it and learning at the same time because I've never created a, a children's or a children's book. So um, there's so many things in the pipeline of the direction I want to go and reinventing my life. I did talk about that in a previous video. Um, speed of videos. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share it if you please. Okay. So that's where I am in my life. Trying to figure out, you know, how do I want to live out the remainder of my life? Um, I know I don't want to stay in California. I know that I don't want to live in the United States. I'm looking at different places where I could live where my dollar would go a long way. You know, we said I mentioned Panama. I mentioned Thailand. Um, Singapore is not going to be an easy place. I don't think they're going to allow retirement. You can't get into, they don't have a retirement visa for Singapore. Singapore was definitely on my list, but they don't have a retirement visa. So i um, scratching that off. I could go visit, but I can't reside there. Um, I The last place I looked at was Portugal. You know, affordable places in Portugal. So I'm going to be checking that out. You know, and one thing about me is, and I think this is like a, a downfall, is that I love what's familiar and I become complacent. And even though what's familiar may not serve me well, you know, can I be real? Can I be real with you guys? It may not serve me well, but because I've been doing what doesn't serve me for so long, I become, it's, it's, it's like an addicted to things that are not good for you, right? Um, so like bad eating, okay? Um... So on that note, I'm going to let you guys go. I'll let you share with you how I'm coming with the book. My goal is to finish it in a week. Um, and if I can, I'm not going to beat myself up. But um, I'm really excited about that. So how's your Sunday going? How are you doing? Is life treating you well? I hope so. Um, leave it in the comments. Where are you from? What projects are you working from? How are you reinventing yourself? And um, uh, I, I gotta go. I got work to do. I just felt like chit-chatting. I hope you guys don't mind. I love talking with you. And um, you have a great day. I will be back. Don't forget thumbs up. Subscribe to my video. Hit the notification bell. So whenever I do another video, you are notified. And if you choose, if you choose, choose is what i meant to say feel free to share this video you have a blessed day bye bye